Crash Course Instrumentation, Episode 21, Voltage and Current Sources Unplugged. Welcome back to Crash Course Instrumentation. Today's episode is our big wrap-up to the Components and Symbols module, and we're going out with a spark. We're diving deep into voltage and current sources, how they work, how they differ, and how they power the real-world loops and systems we use every day. What is a voltage source? A voltage source is a component that tries to maintain a constant voltage, regardless of the current drawn from it. Think batteries, DC power supplies, or a loop-powered transmitter outputting 24 volts. Ideal voltage sources maintain the same voltage no matter what. But in the real world, all voltage sources have some internal resistance. This causes the voltage to sag if the load draws too much current. Real-world application. Your loop-powered pressure transmitter is driven by a voltage source. But if you stack too many devices in series or overload it, the voltage drops and the signal can fail. What is a current source? A current source tries to maintain a constant current, regardless of the voltage across its load. These are common in 420 milliamp signal loops. Ideal current sources can output any voltage necessary to maintain their current, but just like voltage sources, real ones have limits. Real world application. Your transmitter is sourcing 12 milliamp into a loop, and the receiving device, maybe a PLC input card, syncs it. This is the heart of analog instrumentation communication. Source versus load, who's who? In instrumentation, we define the source as the device delivering power or signal, and the load as the device receiving it. Examples. A 24-volt DC power supply is the source. A loop-powered transmitter is the load. A 420 milliamp transmitter is the source. An analog input card is the load. Knowing who sources and who sinks is crucial for correct wiring and troubleshooting. Symbols refresher, voltage and current sources. NEMA versus IEC. NEMA. Voltage sources use a circle with a plus and minus. Current sources are similar but include an arrow. IE. Voltage sources might be labeled with values, e.g. 24 volt, and current sources use a triangle or labeled current value. Pro tip, always refer to your loop diagram or schematic. Symbols may be customized. A brief history of sources and instrumentation. The earliest voltage sources were chemical, like Alessandro Volta's pile, 1800. Current loops became mainstream with telegraphy in the 1800s and later found a second life in industrial automation thanks to the 420 milliamp standard. By the 1970s, Current loops dominated industrial process control because of their noise resistance, long-distance capability, and simple diagnostics. Today, smart transmitters and loop isolators have evolved the game, but the 420 milliamp loop remains a trusted backbone. Loop-powered versus self-powered instruments. Loop-powered draws power from the signal loop, requires less wiring, and is common in remote installations. A self-powered has its own power supply, e.g. AC or separate DC, offers more flexibility but at the cost of complexity. Tech tip. Always verify if an instrument is loop-powered. Before wiring, mistakes here can fry a device or cause signal loss. Wrapping up the components and symbols module. From resistors to capacitors, from IEC symbols to current loops, you've now got the visual and conceptual toolkit to decode real-world schematics like a pro. Be sure to revisit earlier episodes to reinforce key ideas. Episode 18, Series versus Parallel. Episode 19, Resistance. Episode 20, IEC versus NEMA Symbols. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you understand voltage and current sources and how they power the systems we rely on, please give it a like, subscribe, and share it with a fellow tech. Catch all episodes at youtube.com slash at Crash Course Instrumentation. Join the conversation. Facebook.com slash groups. 1 and 7, 2, 5, 4, 2, 2, 9, 0, 4, 7, 3, 7, 5, 4, 1.